phonics practice today, we are reading the bug on the rug. And in today's class, we are practicing the phonics ending sound, ug, ug, ug. Let's go. As always, I'll read first and you listen, and then you read on your own after. Are you ready? One day, I saw a little bug. The bug was crossing my red rug. You try, go. Nice! Where are you going, little bug? Why are you crossing my red rug? You try, go. Good! I am lost, said the bug. I need to find my friend, the slug. You try, go. Good. Here's a long one. Where is the slug? I asked the bug. But all the bug could do was shrug. You try, go. Good job! My friend, the slug, was me, the jug, said the bug. Your turn, go. Good job! I picked up the little bug. We walked over to the jug. Your turn, go. Nice. Here's another long one. We looked for the slug near the jug. Is the slug behind the jug? I gave the jug a tug. Your turn, go. Wow, nice work. There you are, slug, said the little bug. Your turn, go. Good. The slug and the bug had a big hug. You try. Nice. And now the final page. I went back across the rug. Goodbye, little bug and slug. You try. Wow, good job. In today's class, we practiced all the words with the ending sound, ug, 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 U-G. And now it's your turn to tell me if these words have the same ending sound. Are they rhyming words? Are you ready? The first word is dug. Does dug rhyme with bug? What do you think? Good. It does rhyme because dug and bug have ending sound ug. The second word is fork. Does fork rhyme with shrug? What do you think? Good. It doesn't rhyme because fork has ending sound ork. About number three, banana. Does banana rhyme with hug? What do you think? Good. It doesn't rhyme at all 
banana has ending sound na. What about number four, mug, a cup? Does mug rhyme with slug? What do you think? Good, it does rhyme. Mug and slug have ending sound ug. What about e, plug? Does plug rhyme with jug? What do you think? Good. It does rhyme because they both have ending sound ug. Very good. And the final word is shoe. Does shoe rhyme with tug? What do you think? Good. It doesn't rhyme. Shoe has ending sound oo. Very good. Now it's your turn. How many words can you think of with the same ending sound ug, ug, ug? Let me know and write it all down below. Take some time to think about it, and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. For Comic Book Tuesday today, we are meeting a new friend. His name is Benjamin Bear, and today's book is called Fuzzy Thinking. Let's go. Big fish. I can catch more fish than you. Hmm, maybe. Fishing, fishing. Ha! Ha ha! Ooh, I won. No, I did. Look at that. <laughs> cold night. Tonight will be cold, but I have a t-shirt and a sweater. What about me? Hmm, let me think. Ooh, very cute. Painting. Do 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 do. Hmm. <laughs> Boom. And now that looks like you. <laughs> Poor tree. Do you want that apple? It's too high. I'll get it for you. Climb, 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 climb. Wow. Thank you. That's very smart. Karate. Hey. -ya! I bet you can do that. Yes, I can. Huh? Hi! Ha 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 To fly or not? Hoo hoo! Gulp! It's too high. I need help. Here, boy. Grrr! Woof woof! Ah! Thank you! <laughs> A long nap. Ooh. Ooh! The birds are coming. They're setting up a nest. And he wakes up. Huh? What's happening? And he opens his mouth and he gets fed too. <laughs> the man in the moon. Hello, I have come from the moon. You look hungry. Do you want some food? Ooh, hope. He's getting bigger. Hope. Ooh, it's getting very big. Hope. Thank you. Huh? He's now a full moon. Underwater. I want to see what's under the water. Me too. Oh, the bear is taking them under the water. Huh? I like it under the sea. Me too. <laughs> so funny. The maze. Hmm, the bear is going inside the maze. Huh? Hmm, I'm lost. Good thing I have an apple. Hmm? Oh, he puts the apple down. The ants come and eat it and he follows the ants out. Help your friends. Can I help you? Well, the dishes need drying. Thanks. <laughs> play with me. I need another rabbit to play with me. I can be a rabbit. How do you do? Very well, and you? <laughs> They're in a play. To jump or not. Here we are. Whoosh! Jump! It's too far for me. I'll help you. Thank you. Wow. Say your boat. Come look at my boat. He doesn't look happy. It's because there's no wind. Whoosh. Now he's happy. <laughs> at the store. I'm hungry. Nom 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 nom. Ahem. Whoop. Ooh. He puts him on the scale and he pays him. <laughs> Sunset. The sun goes down and goes away. Let's light a candle. Ooh, that's a long candle. The candle goes down 
and goes away, just like the sun. Winter is coming. What are you doing? I'm a bear. What do you think? I don't know. This will be my winter home. Wow. Why is it so big? I need room to store my food. He has so much food, he can put it inside. Ooh, but he ate it all. <laughs> Too much wind. It's hard to walk. I'll stand here until it stops. Ooh, the snow is building up. The snow is building. Ooh, it's formed a wall. And now there's no more wind. It stopped. The winner. On your mark. Get set. Go. Who do you think will win the race? Oh no, the bear hit the tree. The rabbit says, I win. But the bear says, no, I win. His skis got down there first. Ha ha ha. A good friend. So much snow. Let's get under something. Hmm. I don't see anything. I do. Huh? Oh. The rabbit is under the bear. What a good friend. Do as you're told. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop it. Stop fighting. Why don't you make a snowman? Hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Whoosh, whoosh. That was a good idea. Yep. The bear has turned into a snowman. Ha, ha, ha. Friend, it's too high. Sometimes you need someone bigger than you or smaller. What does the rabbit mean? Hmm. Ooh, the rabbit is small enough for the bear to hold him to get the apple. Very good. The biggest fish. The shark takes up as much room as a whale. Huh? How? Huh? Ooh, because every fish is afraid of the shark. So the shark has a lot of space. Ha <laughs> ha. I want to play. Do you want to play tennis? No. Whack. Huh? Bonk. Huh? Hey, you! Whoosh! And now, he's playing tennis with him. Ha ha ha! The hot dog. Pant, pant. Nice dog. But you're holding him back. Oh, that was easy. Ha ha ha! Back to school. The baby bear is dreaming and the father comes and says, Stop dreaming! Get ready for school! And the baby bear starts dreaming about going to school. Ha ha ha. The comic strip. I never read comics. Why not? Because I am a bear in a comic. So what? So when I read comics, the reader gets bored. Ha 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 ha. The end. Benjamin Bear sure is goofy. But what do you think about this comic book? Let me know down below. And let me know which was your favorite comic book strip. Take some time to think about it. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. For social studies today, we are off to the Philippines, a country made from thousands of beautiful, amazing beach islands. Let's go. Chapter 1. Welcome to the Philippines. See the chocolate hills of Boho? Take a boat between more than 7,000 islands? Welcome to the Philippines! Here you can visit the historic district of Intramuros. You find a fortress with thick high walls and a moat too. Spaniards began building Fort Santiago in 1590. The country got its name from Philip II. He was the king of Spain in the 1500s. Spain ruled the islands until 1898. The Filipino people celebrate Independence Day from Spain every year. When? June 12. The country's capital is Manila, and there are almost 2 million people that live there. The president's official residence is the Malacanan Palace, which is this palace right here. However, some presidents choose to live in different homes nearby. The government system here has a president. There are senators, representatives, and a court system too. Chapter 2. Life in the Philippines What do Filipinos eat? Fish is popular, so is corn, green vegetables, and lecon is a whole roasted pig. There's also adobo, which is chicken or pork stewed in a mixture of soy sauce and vinegar. It is served with rice.
Education is very important to Filipinos. Children here go to school when they are 6 or 7 years old. They usually attend elementary school for 6 years. Then they move on to another 6 years of high school. This can include one year of military training. Lessons are taught in both English and Filipino languages. What do you think? In some schools here, there are not enough seats, so kids have to carry their own stools to school. What supplies do you bring to school? Let me know down below. How do people get around? Some might ride in jeepneys. These are brightly painted minibuses like this. Others can walk or bike or ride a water buffalo or horse. And people can take boats or planes to get to the different islands. Chapter 3 Land and Animals Luzon is the largest island here. It is up in the north. The second largest is the Mindanao, which is in the south. Beautiful beaches line the islands. Mount Apo and Mount Dulang Dulang are the highest mountains in the Philippines. Each is more than 9,600 feet tall. Below the mountains are plains. They are covered with grass. The Banao rice terraces were carved into the mountains more than 2,000 years ago. They were designed to hold water. Why? Because rice needs it to grow. Many crops are grown here. This country is the leading producer of coconuts. They are exported all over the world. What else is exported? Sugarcane, bananas and yummy pineapples. What do you think? Grocery stores in the United States are filled with produce from other countries. What is your favorite fruit and where do you think it comes from? Let me know down below. There are many rainforests on these islands and many kinds of trees can be found in them too. The Philippine mahogany tree is one of them which can grow almost half a mile tall. Sandbars live here, so do pangolins. The tamaro, a rare species of water buffalo, and civets too. The Philippines sure is a place of wonder. Would you like to visit one day? Let me know down below. Now let's go through some of the new words we learned in today's book. The first word is capital, which is a city where government leaders meet. Crops are plants grown for food. District is an area or region. An empire is a group of countries or states that have the same ruler. Exported means to be sold to other countries. A fortress is a place that is fortified against attack. Independence is freedom from a controlling authority. Military is of or having to do with soldiers, the armed forces or war. A moat is a deep wide ditch dug around a castle fort or town and filled with water to prevent enemy attacks. Plains are large, flat areas of land. Rainforests are tropical forests in which a lot of rain falls much of the year. Forests are raised flat platforms of land with sloping sides. And finally, typhoons are violent tropical storms. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the Philippines? Let me know down below and let me know some of the interesting things you'd like to do if you visit one day. Take some time to think about it, and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. For Animal World Today, we are continuing with our safari series, and today we are learning about the peacocks, one of the most majestic animals in the world. Let's go. What are peacocks? Peacocks are large birds and they live in forests and in dry grasslands. Male peacocks like these ones have bright blue or green bodies. And then there are female peacocks like these ones which are called peahens. They are not colourful but this helps them blend in with the ground. They must hide their pea chicks like these little cute babies from predators. Peacocks forage during the day. They eat plants, insects and fruits like these. Forage means to look for food. After mealtime, they roost in trees. This keeps them safe from predators on the ground. Male peacocks have long tail feathers like this and these feathers form a train. Males fan out their trains for females. The feathers have shiny eye spots that look like eyes. Wow! 
females really like males with large bright trains. Looking good, peacock. Now let's go through some new words we learned in today's book. The first word is eye spots, which are the colored spots that look like eyes. Forage is to go out in search for food. Insects are small animals with six legs and hard outer bodies. Insect bodies are divided into three parts. Peachicks are cute baby peacocks. Predators are animals that hunt other animals for food. Roost is to sleep or rest, and peacocks roost up in trees to stay safe. And finally, train are the long feathers that trail behind a male peacock as he walks. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the beautiful and majestic peacock? Let me know down below and also share with me some interesting things you learned in today's book. Take some time to think about it and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. For science in our class today, we are continuing with my healthy habit series. And in today's class, we are learning why it's so important to use a tissue. Let's go. Achoo! What a sneeze! Want a tissue? Tissues like this are made from soft paper. They are a hygiene tool. We cough and sneeze into tissues. We also use them to blow our nose. Tissues trap body fluids. These include spit and mucus. Do you carry tissues with you at school? Let me know down below. Body fluids contain germs. Germs make people sick, like him. Without tissues, germs would spread faster. They'd land on our hands, they'd fill the air. What do you say when someone sneezes? You better say, bless you. Let's say you feel a sneeze coming. What do you do? Raise a tissue to your mouth and nose. It's like raising a shield, like him. Tissues block germs. Handkerchiefs do too. But then people wash them so that they can keep them, like her. Tissues are different. People don't save them then germs have less time to spread. Never reuse the same tissue, throw it away. Then wash your hands, scrub for at least 20 seconds. Play it safe, always carry clean tissue with you. Using tissues keeps us healthy. What are some of your healthy habits? Let me know down below. Now it's time to go through some new words we learned in today's book. The first word is fluids, which are the liquids with no fixed shape. Germs are tiny organisms that often cause disease. Handkerchiefs are squares of cotton cloth people use to wipe or blow their nose. Hygiene is keeping yourself clean or other actions that support good health. Mucus is a sticky fluid produced by our nose and throat. And finally, a shield is a piece of armor used for protection. Now it's your turn. What do you think about using tissues? Let me know down below. And also, share with me some reasons why you think it's important. Take some time to think about it. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. For comprehension class today, we are reading Hansel, Gretel and the Ugly Duckling. Don't forget to stay to the end of the class where we have some questions to test your understanding. Are you ready? Let's go! Hansel said Gretel, we have no food and dad needs more wood to make pegs. Let's walk to the farm down by the stream and sell what we have for some eggs. We'll go through the forest, said Hansel, and pick up some wood on the way. We'll buy some wheat to grind into flour and be back by the end of the day. Hansel dropped stones to make a long trail so they could find their way back. Just as they got to the farm by the stream, they heard a little duck quack. Oh no, cried Gretel, look at those ducks. They're teasing the one that is brown. They think he's not as handsome as them and the ugliest duck in town. Look how they leave him only the crust. Why would they eat the bread that is white? And look how they snuggle up in the reeds while he sleeps alone through the night. They bought the grain and collected the wood, then baked some bread for their breakfast. Father said, Children, I need some wood chips. Can you gather some in the forest? This time they took bread for the ducks and left a crumb trail as their guide. But nighttime soon came and the children got lost. 
Where will we sleep? They both cried. Look over there in the trees, Hansel said. That house, it is ever so sweet. Do we dare go and knock on the door and ask for something to eat? Just at that moment, a woman appeared. Ha ha, she said, come with me. But as they stepped in through the door, she locked it and threw out the key. The little duck had followed the trail and eaten the bread as he ran. He saw the children trapped in the house and the clever duck thought up a plan. When the old lady went to bed, he picked up the key for the door. He flapped his wings, flew up in the air and dropped it right on the floor. Hansel said Gretel, the duckling is here. I can't believe what he's done. He brought us the key to help us get out, unlock the door and let's run. The children ran far away from the house with the duckling leading them on. He lived the rest of his days on their pond and grew up into a beautiful swan. Now it's quiz time to test how well you understand the story. Are you ready? The first question is, why did Hansel and Gretel walk to the farm? Was it to find the witch or to get food? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is B, to get food. Very good. Question 2. What did Hansel and Gretel drop along the way to find their way back home on the first trip? Was it A, stones or B, breadcrumbs? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is A, stones. They dropped stones on the first trip. Very good. Question 3. Who did Hansel and Gretel meet by the stream? Did they meet the black birds or a brown duck? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. They met a brown duck, the ugly duckling. Good job. Question 4. Why were the yellow ducks teasing the brown duck? Was it A. They think the duck is ugly because he is brown or B. He cannot quack. What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is A. They think he's ugly because he is brown. Good job. Now question 5. Why did the children go back to the forest? Was it A. To buy eggs or B. To get wood chips? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is B. To get wood chips because their father said so. Good job. Now question 6. What did Hansel and Gretel use as a guide the second time they went through the forest? The second time, did they use stones or breadcrumbs? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is B, breadcrumbs. They used breadcrumbs the second time round. Now, question 7. Why did the children knock on the woman's door? Was it A, to ask for food or B, to ask for directions? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is A, to ask for food. Good job. Now, question 8. What did the woman do when the children walked in? Was it A, the woman trapped them in the house? Or B, she gave them food and sent them home? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is A, she trapped them in the house, locked the key and threw out the key. Very good. Question 9. How did the ducklings save the children? Was it A, he used his beak to unlock the door? Or was it B, he gave them the key to get out of the house? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is B, he gave them the key to get out of the house. Very good. And now final question, question 10. What did the ugly duckling grow up to be? Was it A, a chicken? Or B, a beautiful swan? What do you think? I'll give you a moment. The answer is B, a beautiful swan. Good job. How many questions did you get right? If you got 10 out of 10, it means you got 100% and you're amazing. Good job. Now it's your turn. What do you think about this book, Hansel, Gretel and the Ugly Duckling? Let me know down below and also share with me some important lessons that you learned from this book today. Take some time to think about it and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.